Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right, I'm going to go right into the scripture. This is Matthews 5 and 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be glad, exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. All right, kind, kind. So, uh, so you have a lot of fallouts within Israel. You have a lot of scoffers within Israel. All right, and you have a lot of uh, scoffers uh, in the world that don't understand this thing of ours, like uh, the Apostle Gabar says. Right, because this thing of ours is greatly looked down upon by the world. And brothers, these 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 are these are wicked spirits sent out there to sow that evil seed to get you out of the truth, man. Especially, chiefly these guys that fall out of Great Millstone and become chief scoffers. These guys are just there to, to be set up as examples of men that fell out the truth in order for the scriptures to be fulfilled and the prophecy, uh, the prophet for the prophecy to be fulfilled, right? Scriptures, and to show examples of guys that fall out and see how Satan is, can hop on somebody. Now these guys are set up, all right. Inevitably, by the Most High, they wasn't chosen. There was none of Yahweh Shai's. That's why they wasn't able to continue in the race and uh, and, and and win that prize, man. All right, which is that which is that penny? They're not able to win that prize, which in turn is the kingdom of heaven. They got tired. They they were weak, and they wanted to they wanted to uh, basically like like your boy in, in uh, Cipher in the Matrix. He wanted to go back into the matrix, even though he knows it's not real, man. These guys don't sleep good at night, all right? But I want to bring out this scripture, Matthews 5 and 11, because this should give us, this should give brothers hope that the Most High is with us, man. Because uh, all, all these things that these men are saying were rapists, were pedophiles, were in a cult, were bugged, up out of, bugged the hell out of our mind, you know? All, all these wicked things that people are saying to us and, and, and basically wicked spears that are being brought out there and certain brothers get caught, get caught hold of them, man. If it's not working through your family, your friends, people at your job, you want to live, you want to live a certain lifestyle, right? But the scriptures say, blessed are ye when men shall revile you, right? Let me look up that word revile. Right? It says, blessed is he when men shall revile you. Revile. So we get a, a deeper understanding. So I'm going to just go maybe hit a couple uh, dictionaries and I'm going to go to the blue letter also. So this is revile. It says, this is so this is a Merriam-Webster's.com. And it means, I really give it just, to speak about, it's a simple definition of revile. To speak about someone or something in a very critical and insulting way, and that's exactly what these guys do, man. They 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 basically uh, 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 criticize us, all right, scoff at us in a very insulting way, calling us names. You got people talking about other people's looks, right? And these are the same guys that you were so-called brothers with, man. The only thing is, they actually believe that they're doing the right thing. We can we can mock you niggas, man. We can mock you niggas that follow the truth. Does not the scripture say? Uh, what is that? What is that? Luke fourteen and, and Luke fourteen twenty eight. Let me let me get it. Just uh just for edification's sake. Let me get it real quick. Luke. All right. Bear with me one second. Let's go right to it. Okay, it's so Luke and also in Matthew. 
let me just go to uh, Matthew, I mean Luke. So Luke 14, it says, Luke 14, 28, gun. It says, for which of you intending to build a tower, sit if not down first? This, the tower that we're building, man, is, is, is basically you inside this truth, man. You build, uh, the Lord is building, is, uh, you, you, this truth, the tower is the finish line that you're trying to build him. You're trying to build that tower up. All right. Year by year, weekend by weekend, you try to complete that tower, right? You laid a foundation, a building. So a, a, you're basically building a building, man, right? A, a spiritual, a spiritual tower. First, you got to understand, you got to count the cost, man. Are you, are you willing to do this, man? Are you willing to give up your life? Cause you come in this thing, man, and you and you and you, and you guys play around. You gotta will. You have to will willingly know that you have to give up your life. If your life is more than your house shies, man, then you're not you're not part of this. Let me continue. It says and 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 count up the cost. Whether he has sufficient to finish, or will you stay in this thing to the end? Least happy, least happily after he had laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it. All that behold it. All the men that were uh, uh, around you, when when you gave up your life, when you when you called these people out, when you were prophesying, when you saying America is going to be destroyed, you you the so-called white man is going to slavery along with the other nations, you you damn women, you going you going to get put back into slavery under the man where you belong, okay, and and and, and righteousness is going to reign through the earth, man. They they heard you out there, man, cursing out these people. Now, what happens, man? All the brothers that are around, all the people, man, they're going to mock you, man. We mock you. We're going to mock all you niggas that follow the truth, all right? Because inevitably, the, more, the Lord's going to kill you. So I just wanted to hit that for edification, right? And let me go back into the scripture. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. And, and these are all, all false uh, claims, man. And it, and it says why? It says for my sake, for Yahweh Shai's sake. Meaning what? That they don't hate you. They're not saying these things about you because, you, uh, as a a person in the United States, as a person in a in a so-called America, right? You're taught to be politically correct. You're taught to taught to be uh, nice. You're taught to not to say things outside. If, if if the if the Lord didn't come and send His men out here to teach the truth on highways and byways, none of us will be out here doing it. None of us will stand up. None of us will say "f our lives." We gon' we gonna die for Yahweh Shai. All right. It says for my sake, man. So they hate Yahweh Shai because they hate the doctrine that's encompassed around Yahweh Shai. That Yah, because Yahweh Shai is the doctrine. He is the book. All right. He comes in a volume of the book. Let me finish. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, man. You're supposed to be elated. You're supposed to be elated that you're hated for the name and for the, the be believing in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to be elated. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have a, a, a smile from grin to grin. For great is your reward in heaven because when the kingdom of heaven is established, man, we're going to be sitting pretty, man. We're going to be sitting good. I'm telling you, we're going to be sitting good. Jake does not understand it, man. They're, they're willing to, they're willing to give up, they're willing to give up Everything, man. Give up everything. Give up the whole, the kingdom of heaven. Riches beyond your belief. Women beyond your belief. Nothing but 100% power under Yahweh while Yahweh was shy. They're willing to give all that up. All they got to do is just study, read, be brotherly, and go out on the highways and byways and teach and, and do st shows, man. But they can't because America means too much to them. All right? America means too much to these guys. Let me let me let me keep finishing. It says it says rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before. And that's the crazy thing about it, man. These same guys read the scriptures and see that the prophets were being persecuted every time that Yahweh Shemuel Shai sent out a prophet. All right, every single time Israel was bucking up. Israel wanted to kill the prophets. And these guys can't even see that they're doing the same thing now, man. They can't even see that they're put in the position of a scoffer. They actually believe the Lord has sent them a seducing spirit to believe, to think that they actually are not scoffing. That they're doing the right thing, man, but they're not. Hey, but I want to keep running. Hey, hey, you brothers be happy, man. You brothers be happy that we're, that we're reviled. Right, that we were reviled for 
for the name of Yahweh Shai. All right. Shalom.